finally we re reached Ice Age, and what a funny little set Ice Age is. Let me tell you some trivia about this set. Ice Age is the first set to be in foil wrappers, the ones that you're most accustomed to with trading card games. This is the first set that did that. It's also the first set to have card art on the wrapper as well, where before that it was just like the MTG card back with the set name in a different color. Ice Age is also really funky because it introduced a lot of the new mechanics that we're all familiar with today. So, introduced Snow, which despite how popular it seems lately with like Kaldheim and Modern Horizons, was very unexplored for a very long time. It was one of those like forgotten mechanics that didn't really like messing with too much. This also introduced cumulative upkeep as well, where cumulative upkeep is where you have to pay a certain amount of mana each turn to keep a certain permanent on the battlefield. It was a way of weakening things, because overall Ice Age, I think has a lot- Ice Age is an overall weaker set than a lot of stuff that came before it in terms of overall power. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of standout stuff, but you can definitely tell that they're trying to rein in some of the uh, more broken stuff that existed in early Magic. So let's go over this, shall we? So of course we're going to start with Abyssal Spectre. This is just a functionally worse Hypnotic Spectre where it's 4 man instead of 3. Eh, might have to see play. We also have Adrikar Waste. So this is one of the uh, dual lands of the set. So they are lands that can either produce colorless or you can produce one of the two colors for one damage. So for this case, it's going to be white and blue. These are functionally worse dual lands. One, because to get the two colors, you need to pay the life. And two, because they don't have the land types on them. If you notice, they're just lands, not forest or uh, plains and uh, island. It's a way of making things a little weaker. This set introduced Brainstorm, everyone's favorite legacy staple. Draw three cards, put three, put uh, two on top of your library in any order. One of the most powerful cards ever printed. Just seeing three cards at the top of your library for one mana at instant speed. There's so many decks that are based around it in like Legacy. It's good in Commanders, just good everywhere. One of the best cards. I think even play, sees play in Historic these days. Here's the uh, um, green-white um, Pain Land. It's called Brushland. Burnt Offering is also very powerful. So it's one mana and you can sacrifice a creature. You add X mana in any combination of red or black where X is sacrificed creature's mana value. In a sacrifice based deck, this is really good. We also got Chub Toad. Just a beautiful guy. Just a beautiful little boy. Clairvoyance is a very good cantrip. You look at the target player's hand and you can draw a card at the beginning of the next play of the next turn's upkeep. Just one blue, look at you get hand information and you get to draw a card. Demonic consultation is worth noting because it's used in C E D H. It paired with Thassa's Oracle is a two card win combo where you Play this, you play Thassa's Oracle, and then at instant speed you play this, you name Black Lotus because you don't have it in your library. This exiles every single card in your library, and then when Thassa's Oracle enters the battlefield, you win. Diabolic Vision is really cool, so it's two mana, look at five cards, put one into your hand, put the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. Fire Covenant joins the um, brigade of Ice Age staples that exist in CDH. So Fire Covenant, three mana, pay X life, deal X Deal X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. We also have Finhorn Elves in the set, where Finhorn Elves is a functional reprint of Lana War Elves. Goblin Mutant is really cool, so it's 4 mana, it's got Trample, but it can't attack if a player controls an untapped creature with power 3 or greater. It's still a 5 mana, 5-3 five, with Trample, that's very powerful. Goblin Ski Patrol is a goblin with uh, plus 2 plus 0 and gains flying when you pay that mana, but you sacrifice the next end step, but I think that's worth it for a flying goblin. And here we have Yet another CDH staple. staple. Mr. Grimora. When an opponent casts a non-creature spell, you may draw a card unless they pay four. It's got a cumulative upkeep of one, but in CDH, since the games go for so few turns, it's very powerful. Naked Singularity is also really funny. It switches the amount of mana each land type produces. It's just really funny and gets someone for a turn. You're not going to pay for it for many turns because it's got such a high cumulative upkeep. Whoa, hey look, more EDH staples, Necropotence, whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard, pay one life, exile the top card of your library face down, put that card in your hand at the beginning of your next end step, and you have to skip your draw stuff. So basically you pay a bajillion life in CDH, get a bunch of cards in your hand, and you win. Oh, we also got Pyroclasm in here, which is two mana, deals two damage to every creature, so nice board white for red. Versus Bobble is also another card you want. So it's a zero mana artifact, you tap and sacrifice it to look at a card at random in player's hand, then you can draw a card. So it's a cantrip, hand info, zero mana. It's really good. Every deck's going to be playing that. And with that, we're finally through with the set explanation. There's just a ton of cards in this set, and I probably missed a lot of the good stuff, so I'll be finding out a lot when we play. But yeah, I hope you can see just like 
how weak some of the cards were because of their cumulative upkeeps, but also how strong some of these cards are to the fact that they see play in CEDH today. All right, 36 packs of Ice Age. Let's see what we can get. Imposing Visage is really good. It gives something Menace for one mana. Ooh, I like that. Demonic Consultation. That's that's cool in EDH. Not, I don't think I'll do much here. Pyroblast is interesting because it's a red counter spell, but again, I don't think we have much use for it. And Goblin Ski Patrol. That's actually not terrible because the Goblin that gets flying, so we want that one. Ooh, Brainstorm. That's That'll be pretty good. We want to hold on to that. Oh, we got the Fire Covenant. Fire Covenant's great. Just three mana, you pay X... Uh, life and it does X damage divided as I choose among any number of target permanents, which is really cool. Um, this is a EDH CDH staple, and it's also I think gonna be pretty good here as well because an instant speed does as much damage as you like to whatever. Also, Mystic Remora is in here. Um, it won't be good here, but it's another EDH staple where um, if your opponent casts a non creature spell, they have to pay for or you get to draw a card. That's pretty good. The big thing is it's got a cumulative upkeep, which we really don't want to play. We got the Sulfurous Springs, that's really good because it's the Rakdos land. I think we're planning on playing Rakdos this week. Melting is kind of funny. It makes all the snow covered lands into non snow covered lands. So um, if we know they're on snow, we can, uh, you know, kind of mess with them a little bit. Naked Singularity is really funny. So what this card does is it changes what land produces what color mana. Ah, oh, it's so fun. You can really mess up someone's strategy that way. And that's it. Overall, I'm I'm pretty. I think I'm happy. We got a lot of the uh, staple cards I want, like the brainstorms and the finhorn elves. We also got a couple of the dual lands, which is pretty good too. We'll start by name. Actually, we'll start by color. It's important. Oops. I'm gonna start all by color. Silly me. Yeah, I think we did pretty well. Um, I can't think of too much else that I would want from this set. We got really all the staples that I want, and we just saw how we actually saw how much commander is in the set as well. But yeah, I think with that, we'll get on to the deck building. All right, everyone, this is my list for this week, and it looks very different than what I've been playing the past couple weeks because this list is actually good. So I'm playing goblins, which is essentially just red deck wins, but with only goblins. So there, I have a critical sum of goblins at the moment, and I have all of the support cards for them that make the strategy good. So let me give a little rundown about how this goes out. You're going to notice that a lot of these goblins either have really crappy effects, or they have no effects at all. And that's okay. All that matters is that their name says Goblin. Let's start with Goblin Balloon Brigade. We only run one because we only have one. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1, and I can pay red to get flying. We got Garland, Goblin, Garland, Goblin, Churingion, Churingion. I don't know. You can, ta you can uh, sacrifice a Goblin in to uh, regenerate target creature into zero two. The effect doesn't matter. Goblin Digging Team, one mana, one one. Sacrifice it to destroy a wall. Effect does not matter. Goblins of the Flarg. This one does matter because he he has Mountain Walk. Mountain Walk means that he can't be blocked by an he cannot be blocked if an opponent controls mountains. Next we get Goblin Ski Patrol. It's a 2 mana 1-1, one, one, but I can pay 2 to give it flying and plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. Next we have Goblin King, the thing that ties this whole strategy together. It's a 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. All other goblins get plus 1 plus 1 and have Mountain Walk. 
incredible. I wish I pulled more than one, but one is fine enough. Next we have the cards, Urza's Bottle. This is an incredible cantrip that I think we should all be playing. I'm only running two at the moment, but I think I have four. Anyway, it's a zero mana artifact, so already great. Tap and sacrifice it, look at a card in your opponent's hand, and then I can draw a card at the beginning of the next upkeep. Of course, you can tap at instant speed, of course. So it's just a free draw for zero mana and you to look at a card in your opponent's hand. Knowledge, card draw, what more could you want? Next, we have the cards that really tie the strategy together. So Goblin Caves, enchant a land. If the land is a basic mountain, Goblin Creatures that control get plus O, plus two. All goblins, all of them, and the stacks. So immediately, right away, this helps get our goblins out of removal range, out of the death range that they normally be in. Very powerful effect. So we're running four, obviously. Goblin Shrine, if enchanted lands a mountain, goblins get plus one, plus O. Oh. See where I'm going here? So you buff all your goblins. And then when this leaves the battlefield, deals one damage to all goblin creatures. But if you have the caves up, it's fine. Next, we got Goblin Wardrums, three mana enchantment, gives all my creatures menace. Really good if my guys are little, so they can always get in. And it's good if they're big, so that way they can get in with more damage. We got the one Lightning Bolt, because it's Lightning Bolt. You know, it's like the best red card ever printed. Three Shatter, uh, pay two, destroy target artifacts. Sam's on a lot of artifacts, and I think Tom still plays artifacts too. So it's worth having this. Next, we have four Chain Lightnings. They're just worse Lightning Bolts. Um, neither of my opponents are playing red, so I get to play it. And then finally, four Goblin Grenades. Run one red mana, sacrifice a goblin, five damage to any target. So strong. Five damage is so good in a 20 life format. It kills almost anything that my opponents have access to. It'll kill them at some point. It's just such a great card and why I want to play this deck as well. And finally, the one Winds of Change if I have a bad hand. Um, it also disrupts my opponents as well, but... It's really for if I draw too many lands. Speaking of lands, 20 mountains. We have to play basic mountains due to the Goblin Shrine and the Goblin Caves. It might be a little bit high mana count for a deck like this, considering I max out at uh, 3 mana. But because I have about 10 cards that have triple uh, 3 mana cost, I feel more comfortable running a couple extras. But yeah, this is what I got this week, and I think we can pretty easily take it down. When the ice is aging, Tom, I feel like I see you here every week. We've been here for like two months. Welcome. One of us has got to take down Sam eventually. Welcome to the bottom league, my friend. Welcome to the loser bracket. Are you ready to have your lands destroyed yet again? I'm ready to have my hopes and dreams destroyed yet again. I'll just keep it. I, I don't care. It's it's going to be what it is. I don't think it's got much better Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to start with a mountain. Mm -hmm. We'll go with the goblins, the flarg. Oh, I saw that, I saw that coming. You've never seen this. You've never seen this play no, before. I actually haven't. All right. Unexpected flarg. You expected. You expected land destruction, but no, it's goblin time, I'm gonna boys. Play planes, and I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot to draw. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass to you. By the way, this this card was drawn by Tom Wiener's dad, Wiener Strand. Wiener Strand. How dare you yeah. dox me or you reveal my full name. <laughs> anyway, we're going to play a goblin digging team and a goblin ch chirugan. And I, I really appreciate the song these goblins sing. It's just dig, 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 die. And speaking of dying, that's what you're going to do. Take one. Ow. Ow. Oh, I'm already at zero Ow, HP. Would you look at that? <laughs> <laughs> You're at uh, 19 now. And that's game. Scene. Yeah, there Everyone. we go. This is the quickest magic match in history. <laughs> quickest magic <laughs> match this side of the Mississippi. I'm gonna... I'm gonna play a planes. Okay. Tap a planes, if you will. Pay, play this very useful card. Blessed Wine. Oh. Ooh, Wine. Gain one. One life, and I oh, I gain one life, gain and one I draw a card at the beginning of the next turn. So does that just mean I draw an extra? Yeah. Okay. And I will pass to you, my friend. All right. We'll untap, and we'll draw for turn. And we're gonna hit you with the Goblin Ski Patrol. You know how it be. I do know how it be. And we're gonna hit you for two. Sego. Untap. Or is that no, your turn? So I'm, going your turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. You know, perhaps these goblins are good for something after all. Okay. Oh. 
I will draw for turn. I'm gonna go insane. Gonna go insane. <laughs> <laughs> this is his Joker origin story. Next week he'll come back playing I'm like gonna, mono blue to draw. Go, I'm gonna literally go insane. And just out of pure so, vitriol, I'm gonna so, source the plowshares, your goblin so, skeep troll. Now my skeep. <laughs> Get him out of here! Good time. He was having such a Get good time. Get him out of here! Uh, finally on vacation after like three mo- years of no vacations. Finally, he has to go to the ski resort he's always wanted to go to. But now he had to, like, kill him. He's, Great. He's done. No more skiing in his lifetime. And I am going to pass to you. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Play Mountain. And we will swing at you for two again. I'll take the two. And it's your turn. Very well. I will untap. Oh, Sam's leaving us. I will cry. I will cry very loud. Um, okay, do it. Punk. Yeah! Um, and then I will play a planes. And I will pass to you. Okay. Untap. Draw for turn. I'm about to cry myself here. Um, let's see here. Take it. And like it. Fine. Okay. Your turn. My turn. I will draw for turn. You just need a creature with power bigger than I one. just need a f- That's all you need. freaking forest! Okay. I'm st- No, I'm stupid. I'll show you at the end of this. I was literally stupid how I did this. I was so stupid. Um, but it's fine. It's okay. I will pass to you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's that. It's that bad. I'm, so- I'm sorry. It's Tom. okay. I did it to myself, honestly. Two? Two. My turn? All right. Draw for turn. Yeah. <sighs> Pass to you. Lane's more like pain. This is very painful for me. <laughs> I'm going to pay three. I'm going to put a goblin shrine on my mountain. So this means all my goblins get plus one, plus zero. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to see you for two, four, and five. I'm going to tap to play festival. Oh, shit. No, sorry. I should have read that. Do you want to go back? Well, it said to play during upkeep, and I was going to play it anyways, but I played it, like, to counter your attack. Oh, okay. Because, you know, my card, my hand is full. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so, there's my um, festival. You, you can't attack. ever going to draw a forest? I don't think so, Sam. I don't think I'm going to. All right, so... My guys never so you can go back to your upkeep and attack. replay your yes. turn. We'll just oh, did you well, forget to cast that? I was going to do this anyways. Okay. So. All right, well, I guess I'm just also going to have it where I chain lightning you for th- three I'll damage. And since you got no reds, you can't... Uh, you can't uh, nope. Uh, yeah, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to pass to you. <laughs> How many? How many? How many forests do you? I only did. Deck? I think nine. You need more. Yeah, I should have had more. Um, I'm gonna put out a goblin caves. All my goblins get plus O plus Whoa! two. Whoa! So two, four, five in your okay. face. That's awesome. Big. Cry. All right, main phase two. I'm gonna goblin grenade. Deal five damage to your face. Okay. I Damn. Die. Sam, it's been so long since I've played a game against you. Yep, second shift is a bitch. Well, that and, like, I never beat Tom. I haven't beaten Tom since, like, what, Legends? And today oh my God, it was handed right. to you on the silverest of platters. <laughs> Anyways, I get to go first, baby. Okay, let's see what goblin you pull out of your ass this time. Wait, are you playing a 63-card deck? Why, yes, I do. Wild, go ahead. Ah, uh, shit, it's a goblin. There's What's a this? Goblin We're playing Jirgion. a forest into a Yo. fucking mox emerald. Wow, look at that. You got Yo. a forest. Into bears. Proud of you. Yo. Pass. Alright. Untap. Draw for turn. Okay. Okay. I'm playing my goblin digging team. Good thing bears aren't a wall. Dig, 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 die. And I think we will kill your bear. You bastard. And off to you. You indeed killed my bear. Rest in peace. He bear. is dead. He will. He. I just can't bear to have him around. <laughs> A mountain. Oh, you're playing gruel. Maybe. Ooh. 
And then let's pass. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so I'm going to bring up the Montagna. I'm going to pass three. And we're going to put up my Goblin Shrine. All my goblins get plus one, plus O. Oh. Um, in response to your Goblin Shrine. Wait, He's... nope, never mind. Okay. Move to battle. So I get you for three. I take three. Okay, your turn. I draw. I have to be careful with you. You can actually counter my chain lightnings. <laughs> Mountain. Uh huh. Which I'm gonna tap to play a lightning bolt on your goblin chair guy. Goblin chair Jergen? guy. <laughs> sure. Okay, and then. Goblin Shrine is plus one, plus zero. And when Goblin yeah, Shrine so a, leaves the battlefield. One. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then... Tap my Emerald, Mountain, Forest to play Disintegrate with X as two, targeting your Goblin Digger. Goodbye, Goblin. And pass. All right. Uh, okay, we're going to play an Urza's Bobble. Ooh. And we're going to pay three, and we'll just get all my goblin caves right away. Okay. And it's your turn. Sounds good. We're untapping. We're drawing. We're Bet. bapping my cat's hand away from my mask. <laughs> Which one? The, the, the goblin. All your cats are goblins. And this is a city of brass. City of ass. <laughs> this is a city of burr ass. Okay. Um, we're going to... Take my mask away from my cat. One, two, three, four to play an icy manipulator. Ooh. And pass. Um, On your end step, I'm going to bobble. Okay. So show me a random card in your hand. Pick one or two. Two. Ooh. Ooh. Can I have it That's back? That's scary. Yeah, you can have it back. All right, untap, upkeep, I draw a card, and I draw a card for turn. Nice. Double card. Mm -hmm. If only I, I had the rack. Awful life sucks. Here's a goblin caves on my mountain. Say go. All goblin caves all the time. My goblins are going to be... They're going to have those dumpies when they get in. Pass. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, I didn't mean to pass to you. Hang on. And... Oh. Is, can I respond to your upkeep? Yeah, if you have something that can happen on my upkeep. Okay, I'm going to be tapping down one of your lands with my Icy Manipulator. Okay. It'll be this one, yeah. It doesn't Which matter. One? Okay. All right, then I'll draw for turn. My Goblin Digging Team oh. is currently a... Uh, what is this, a 2-5? Two, 2-5, two five? Two five, yeah, because of the caves. Oh, All right, your awesome. turn. Untap. A da Biggest goblin this side of the Mississippi. Pay one for a dork. Yo, dork. <laughs> dork. Dorks. They just want to get their jawbreakers. And then we're passing. Okay, untap. Anything on upkeep? In response to your upkeep, I am tapping down your digging team. All right, draw for turn. Oh, whoa. Cat. The king has come. Goblin king. All goblins get plus one, plus one in mountain walk. <laughs> nice. And Christ, what is he? A three, So he six? is a... So he's six. So he's an eight. Eight. He's a four, eight. Four, eight. Because, well... Because he gets plus two, plus oh from both... Plus oh, plus two from both these. So that's four. Yep. So two, six. And then plus... So three, six. From the god, like, because the goblin trying to one. Sorry, also. he's a. Oh, other goblins. Yep, yep, you're right. Yep, three six. Okay. That mountain walk then, part is a bit scary. <laughs> a little bit. He <laughs> he. Untappa, we're drawing. Little did I know my opponent was playing mountains. What's this? It's a strip mine. 
Yo. Okay. We're Which gonna. Get rid of? Ooh, do I take out a shrine or a cave? That's a damn good question. Ooh, shrine or a cave? I think we're gonna fuck up your shrine. Destroy the mountain attached to the shrine. Bloop, bloop, and I take one. Okay. All right, so I take one. And then I'm gonna. Oh, it does. Oh no, well, at least it deals one to each goblin creature. But they live, so it's yeah. Fine. I would have had to get rid of both caves before that do anything useful. Yeah, and I'll pass. All right, untap, upkeep. In response to your upkeep, I'm doing the thing, but I'm tapping down your goblin king. All right, draw for turn. Battle, I'll swing at you for two, unblockable. Yep, two unblockable, and I'll take it. Do do. Your turn. Untap. We're drawing. One, two, three for an Ashnod's altar. Yo. Not useful in this situation. Interesting. Interesting indeed. But it's here. It's now. And we're doing that thing called passing turn. All right. Untap. Upkeep. And in response to your upkeep, let's tap down a mountain. Okay. Okay. Um, draw for turn. I'm gonna play a mountain. Play another goblin digging team. <laughs> nice. And I'll swing at you for two, uh, four unblockable. Four unblockable. Because they got mountain. Blocks. I will take it down to eleven. Your turn. Untap. Draw. Do not find an answer. Findhorn elves. <laughs> ooh woo. We're going to pass. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Tap down the Goblin King. The King has come. And so have I. <laughs> All right. We're going to play the Goblin Chung. Ch 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 Chimichanga. Ch ch Chimichanga. <laughs> and we'll swing at you for four. I'll take it down to seven. Your turn. Untap. Draw. Box dupe dupe for a thou devourer. Oh, he's devouring, all right. Yes, sir. I like the idea what you're going for. Like, I assume you're sacrificing your thalus to the altar to get stuff. Theoretically, yes. Right? There's a lot of options for this deck, but unblockable goblins is not something it planned for. Yeah, <laughs> you made the one mistake of playing mountains. We're gonna pass. All right, untap, upkeep. In response to your upkeep, we're going to tap down a mountain. Okay, draw for turn. Uh, move to combat. Okay. Two, four, six, seven, all mountain walk. Going to tap fog. Okay. Um, That's fine. Main phase two. Goblin Grenade? Yays. Ouch. Hoochie Mama. I'll kill this one in the edge of your face. Your turn. Okay. <coughs> this has been disappointing, to say the least. <laughs> when the ruby is Mox, you think with all that power in nine, you'd be able to do something against my endless horde of goblins. That's the I problem. It's an endless horde of goblins. By endless horde, I mean I haven't played a goblin I am card gonna in like put three or four turns. One spore counter on this guy. Who boy? Oh, just wait till I get Cranko. Ooh. Anything else? Um. Well, no matter what, I die next turn. So just play Wrath of God. Yeah, swing all. That's four. Yeah, well, giant growth, the Thal Devourer, and then Berserk, the Thal Devourer. Seven. But that still doesn't bring it much? high enough to kill you. How much damage would that be? After um, that? So Giant Growth makes it a 5-5. Five, five. Berserk yep, so makes it a 10-5. So 12 so total. I take 12 total, so I'm down to 8. Yep. Okay. And that's that. Good game. <laughs> All right. Yep. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, what do you want to tap down? Um, I'm going to tap down my Ashnod's Altar. <laughs> okay. I'll draw a card. 
Uh, it'd be funny. We're gonna winds of change. And oh wait, did you have a zero cards yeah. in hand? Yeah. Way to rub it in, Nick. Okay. Jesus. Die. <laughs> That's game. Yo. Ugh. Wow, Sam. Oh, I met a game without even doing it on Where purpose. Where the fuck were my options? Sam, you had like the same problem as me, but uh, your first okay, ball looks there like it... you got a starting chance. <laughs> okay, so three more draws until I hit something. Okay. I learned that I may have screwed up my ratios a little bit, but just the existence of Mountain Walk saved me Yeah, so Mountain, much. Mountain Walk saved your ass. What does Mountain Walk my God. actually mm -hmm. do? It makes it so if my opponent controls mountains, they can't block my creatures. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which basically means I can't do shit. That explains why you yep. won't block it. And okay. I, honest to God, if I only had the one mountain, I would have strip mined my own mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you only had the one down. But I had two. So I was like, shit, yeah. I can't strip mine it. Well, Nick, you're finally king. You're back in the... Yeah. Oh, it feels so position. good. Hail to the king. Hail to me. Ban. Who? I'm gonna see, cause I don't know if I don't know if you're gonna do another. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna do another goblin deck or not. Like, I, I'm sorry to hurt you, Nick, but my ban is Goblin King. That's perfectly fine. And I think I'm gonna ban. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to target you, Sam. <laughs> cause I feel like do I always do. You... It, do you have something you need to ban from my hand? No, I don't. Think? Like, I don't have any bans, cause I literally didn't get to play today. Um, if I had to pick, like, gun to my head, I would do Icy Manipulator. Okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. I'm it is a pretty card. I'm just taking all of your BS so, artifacts. Icy Manipulator is yeah. a really good ban. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, I didn't have to fight against it. So, like, you know, it just feels disingenuous. I don't know. Well, yeah, because if you can tell, Nick, this deck, its goal is to just stall the d damn game down yeah. until I can win. But unblockable damage. Stinky. Yeah, so I, it looks like I'm not gonna be playing uh 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 goblins again because Goblin King was the whole reason why I played it because having the Lord is so good. I only have the one, but even just having one is really good. Hold on, first we gotta talk about the set we're doing oh, next. That's oh right. yeah, that's right. And that's gonna be Homelands. So fun fact about Homelands: originally it was part of the Ice Age block. But then they retroactively removed it because it was me too mechanically different. Ah, that's like DLC huh. for Ice Age. But reverse, because they removed it from the Ice Age. It's no longer considered part of Ice Age block. Oh, so it like released as part of Ice Age and they just kind of like retrofitted it to like no longer be a part of that? Yeah, shit. I'm, like, I'm yeah. looking here and Homelands released 1995. And the next part of Ice Age block released 1996. So this released after Ice Age. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so Homelands was initially the second set in the Ice Age block before it was retroactively removed. Oh, it's kind of wild. What is Chronicles? Chronicles is a side set. It's a reprint set. Okay. Yeah. Fun fact, my uh, locals is selling them for 50 bucks a pack. Chronicles? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's got some good cards in there. And it's 36 that, boosters, right? Yep. Yeah, 36. But anyways, I hope you all had fun, and we'll see you in two weeks of Homelands with me as the victor. And maybe, maybe the goblins may be dead, but I'll figure out something. The goblins we'll, are dead, we'll but there's probably more was goblins. Their dig, dig, die song was on. <laughs> see y'all next week.